Hi, I'm Joe here with Hi-Fi Corner, and today I have David from DCS. He's going to go through the Vivaldi range with us. David, so we got some of the Vivaldi range here. Can you explain what we're looking at in these three boxes here? Sure. So the Vivaldi range, first and foremost, is the ultimate expression of what we're about as a company. Right. It's, it's taking the core DCS technologies, putting them into to powerful boxes that, that you know deliver great sound. Right. So when we sat out to set out to develop Vivaldi, really it was about how can we push the state of the art, how can we improve measured performance across what we thought were all the critical dimensions. Right. And then from there, we developed a ring DAC. Okay. We developed a processing platform to, to, to drive that ring DAC. And then we started to build the Vivaldi system around those core technologies. So Vivaldi at its, its ultimate level is either a three box system or a four box system if you, if you spin discs. So right. the three units that we have here are the digital to analog converter, yep. the Vivaldi DAC, yep. the Vivaldi upsampler, yep. and the master clock. So in a three box system that assumes that you're streaming or you're maybe feeding the the, the value up sample from from another digital source. So, right. We so, did, we yeah. designed the up sample to be the hub of the system, really. So that becomes the hub. Exactly. The, the up sampler of a Valdi. Yeah. The DAC. You can use the DAC on its own. You know, right. you could okay. use a Vivaldi DAC with with you know it has USB inputs, it has PCM inputs, so you could feed it from a from a transport, from a from a you know a music server or okay. from. So there's Anything. no streaming on this. There's no streaming there's on no it. There's no network connectivity. Correct. On that. Right. Correct. Okay. So that is a dedicated digital to analog converter. Exactly. Right. Okay. Exactly. So now I see just a sorry, just I see there's a volume pot there. Yeah. Is that so it can act as a preamp as well? Exactly. Okay. So all our all our DACs are designed to be preamps. You right. know, we 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 always say that that's something actually get yourself into the store or addition at home. But right. You know. Our stuff is so resolving and, and so detailed that you know you need to find a special preamp to, to match, so to with match it. it up. Exactly. So, so you're making sure you're getting the very best out yep. of your source. Yeah. And you guys thought, well, we can do this very well. Yep. So we'll put preamps in each one of ours. The Vivaldi, the Rossini, and the Bartok. Yep. All you can see, they all have their volume pots on exactly. it. Exactly. So they're all using it as a preamp. That's awesome. Yep. So yeah, so staying with the DAC then and that volume okay. control. So the Vivaldi DAC obviously has the new Apex ring DAC, yep. and that was some huge improvements we made over the last year or so in the linearity and distortion right. performance of, of the DAC. So we spun that out as a new ring DAC circuit. Right. So that's available to existing Vivaldi owners as a, as a, a board swap and, okay. a, and a change of the rear panel. Um, or the, all of the new models come with it as standard, but right. So it's, if I got a if I got a Vivaldi DAC, yeah, I've invested my hard earned money into that. Yeah. It's a wonderful DAC, love it, but I want to go to the next level with it. Yeah. I can send it back to my local dealer or give it back to my local dealer for them to get the exactly. Apex upgrade. Yep, yeah. awesome, and it's yeah. the same casework. Exactly, right, perfect. Yeah. All right, nice. So yeah, and that's something we're, longevity. Yeah, longevity in your product. Yeah, we're I proud like of it. that. That's something that's it's in our DNA as a company. Right, we improve our products through the life. Okay. Um, and Apex was one of those things where it was like, wow, this is this is really something. This sounds fantastic. Yeah. What do we do? And we thought, well, what what an amazing upgrade to offer all those existing DCS yeah. customers. So it became a new model, the, the Apex model. Yeah. But existing customers can benefit. But existing, from that. so they they haven't really wasted their money. And something news, brand news, come out where they can upgrade their existing. Exactly. That's awesome. So yeah, so yeah, Vivaldi DAC's lovely. been a, a flagship DAC for a number of years. It's obviously got an array of, of inputs. It also has a multitude of, of filter settings. So we've okay. optimized um, the, the filters for PCM, for DSD, and for right. MQA. Okay. Um, a number of years ago, we, we changed the speed at which the ring that core runs. So we called that the mapper update. That's what the mapping is. Yeah, okay, so that, right. was a, that was another big leap in performance. We've added a, a DSD filter around the same time, which Kind of reduced the out-of-band noise, which made it much more amplifier friendly. Right, um, okay. So there's been a lot of 
updates and improvements to Vivaldi Dak through its life, and I think Apex just took just it, to it to another level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so moving from the the DAC yep. uh, to the upsampler. So yeah, explain to me why the, what the upsampler is doing. Yeah, so I, I think I said before we see that as the hub of the system. So yeah. that's the that's the unit with the network input, right? And okay. then it has some intelligence where it can talk to the transport and the clock and the DAC over two three two. So then the Mosaic app right. that controls okay. Valde can yep. can send commands to the other boxes, right? Um, but the upsampler is really it's a network streamer, or okay. it can take the audio from this the SACD transport, Valde right. transport. So in terms of network streaming, it uses our proprietary network interface and a mosaic app. Right. Okay. Uh, it ha so that app has Tidal, Cobuzz, Deezer built in. We also support Tidal Connect, Spotify Connect, Apple Airplay. Right. So that does all the heavy lifting for the DAC. That's, so, the, that's kind of the brain of the unit. Exactly. Of the whole Vivaldi, that's your brain. Yeah. Right, okay. So that, that's where your first order filtering comes in. Right, So okay. you, know, you might be receiving 44.1 or 24.192 or MQA. Right. Yeah. So it's noise shaped, it's filtered. Um, it's sent to the DAC and then the DAC plays music. Okay. But yeah, the, 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 the upsampler itself's got you know, it's got a lot of technology in there. So each of these Vivaldi products have the Vivaldi processing platform. Right. They have dual power supplies. Um, and it's it's everything we can do to, to kind of deliver so state-of-the-art performance. It's, it's the absolute peak yep. of of DCS yeah. for digital playback. Yeah. Now, can you just, I mean, we know what a master clock is, yeah. uh, but, but for those out there who don't just kind of in a short and skinny of what a master clock does. Yeah, so we've found our, our kind of measurements and our listening tests show that if you synchronize a DAC or the, the components in the playback chain to an external reference source, yeah, you get an improvement in the sound. Um, so that's what the master clock does. It sends out a 44 1K clock signal and a 48. Right. And the upsample and the DAC will automatically detect which signal to lock to. Right. And that makes the DAC more accurate in that conversion stage, which Getting is the everything key. Everything in sync. Everything's about converting those ones and zeros to the analog signal at precisely the right time. Yeah. And that's what the clock does. So for us, it's about stability of the clock signal rather than right. extreme accuracy. You know, okay. they're, they're accurate, but it's really about that stability and, and locking everything to the clock. So Vivaldi is a system, you know, when you get those three boxes working together, it, it, you know, it sounds wonderful. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's, it's, for me, if I had to buy, if someone said, Joe, money's no holds barred, yeah. go for it. Yeah. You know, because we're looking at about, what, 33 for the DAC, if I remember correctly, 21 for the upsampler and about 17 uh, for the master clock. So it's not inexpensive. No. So, but... The performance you get, now I've done a lot of A-B comparisons between sources, and if someone said, Joe, like I said earlier, if if there's no money cost, what would you go for? I would say Vivaldi all day long. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's for my ears, it works well. And I love the mapping aspect, I love the filters, because I can slightly tune it to how, what's better for my ears than say one of my colleagues or, you know. Yeah, yeah so we so say so there's, there's some settings are set and forget, yeah, and then others are more preference or the type of music. Yeah. So you know, for for kind of for rock music and acoustic music, you might want DXD because yeah. it's it's got a bit more impact and it's okay. it's you know maybe more detail. Whereas right. DSD is kind of softer, but on on big orchestral right. pieces or, or you know jazz pieces where you're trying to unravel music, it can it has something about it right, so okay. that that's personal preference yeah um, well, but to come all back of our to ears the, are different yeah yeah, yeah yeah so it's great to have those options yeah so in terms of pricing you mentioned the cost of the components yeah. and that's something that we recognize yeah but you know the the other side of that is vivaldi is the ultimate expression of what we as a company do and yeah. what we believe to be state of the art in, yeah. in digital playback and it's 10 plus years of of r d expertise of software engineers, hardware engineers, mechanical designers, of yeah. test of of um, listening, of evaluations, and and yeah. all that knowledge and expertise and feedback 
is works, going into the valley. Exactly. It yeah. works its way into your, your roadmap. Yeah. And then over the years, we've added features, we've added functions, we've added hardware upgrades yeah. to keep that system state of the art. Yeah. So it's expensive, but it's an investment. And it's an investment that improves all the way through its life. Yeah. And I, in, in all honesty, I know it sounds like a lot of money, but when you break it down into the kind of high-end, hi-fi world, it's really not. I mean, you have speakers out there that are 250,000 pounds a pair of speakers, and that's grand, but when if you don't have the source right, nothing else is right, in my opinion. You know, some others out, out there may argue differently, but you have to have the source right, and I think that's what Vivaldi does. The source is right, and for that, it's almost priceless. Well, that's it. Music's yeah. art, right? Yeah. And a great piece of music through a great system, you'll hear something different every yeah. time. It's mind right? And you connect it? with it in a different way every it's time. It's absolutely mind blowing. And you use it every day of your life. Yeah. So it's it's an amazing, you know, space to be in yeah. to, to make these kinds yeah. of products. But that, you know that that's what we see as like we're a piece of glass into the recording, and we bring people closer to the music, and it's it's a challenge yeah, you know, yeah and, and yeah. sometimes we we get things right other times we get things wrong and they don't yeah. make it and that's what people don't see <laughs> yeah of course no they only see the finished product yeah. you know yeah but it's awesome because as as a retailer myself when you are able to supply this to a, a consumer or a customer an audiophile whatever and they write back to you or they call you up and say joe i literally cried which has happened to me multiple times. <laughs> it literally, it just puts a smile ear to ear. And when you're talking about Vivaldi, Rossini, Bartok, Lena, the DCS whole kind of family of products, that's what it does. It gets things right. And it all trickles down from Vivaldi into the rest of the ranges. And that's that's something special in, in, in my opinion, David. So yeah. No, yeah. I, that's why we do what we yeah, do. Yeah. You know, you've you, done it right. Me, everybody, it right, yeah. it's, you know, we love that feedback, yeah, and it's like, yeah. how can we keep trying to push you on yeah. push what our products do, and and yeah. and you know, deliver great sound. Hi, right. yeah, that's it's <laughs> it's awesome. Well, yeah, David, thank you. thank you so much for coming in. Um, my name is Joe. I'm with Hi Fi Corner. Remember to click on the bell icon, like this video, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for listening, and always remember to enjoy your music. We'll be